bath beds together today. Got some daylight. It's kind of nice working out in the sun. This is going to be the size of the bed um, where I put all my plants. So more or less this is going to be the bottom. I'm going to frame up on the outsides and then there's going to be a styrofoam sheet that's going to float on the top of this. My first instinct when it comes to building this would be to get your framework, right? Let's just pretend this is my piece. Get my framework and attach it like so, right? But if I do that, I'm going to lose an inch and a half on each side. And then that means I'm going to have to cut my styrofoam raft sheet that comes in 4 by 8 sheets. So the thing to do is just be to frame it on the outside of this piece of wood. Um, that's one spot where I made a slight mistake when it comes to the tanks. Um, I started out good with my bottom piece. My framework was good. And then I realized once I added my, uh, I added my walls to the sides of the tank, I lost a little bit on each side. So once I realized I made that little mistake, I got back on the online volume calculator. And it just turns out that I had to raise the water line like an inch, inch and a half. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was just a little bit. Slight mistake, um, I can live with that, but I don't want to make that mistake when it comes to the to the raft beds because then I'm going to be cutting, then I'll be cutting a big old piece of styrofoam. I'd rather try and keep that hole. Okay, slight problem to overcome. I thought these uh, these pieces of wood came like three inches over you know you get an eight foot piece it would be eight eight foot three inches well that's not the case it's um i guess i should have measured it before i bought it it's eight foot and three quarters um so that presents a little bit of a problem my thinking was that inch and a half on each side i would just stagger it and everything would line up right well that's not the case so um they had nothing to choose from really when it came to what was available at the store when i got this stuff um so anyway what I am going to have to do is somehow brace this to this because that's not going to cut it. I'm not going to be able to get the screws in there. Oh well. Oh, well. I'll get it figured out. Well, fudge. I looked around the property as quick as I could. Can't find anything L bracket wise that I can think of. So to keep moving forward, I'm going to just I'm going to use wood. Um, anyway, what I'm doing is just blocking it off right here. Pretty simple. It's starting to look like something. We got this one done here. Well, framework at least. I think when it's all said and done with, I'll probably put something on the tops of everything. So you won't, you won't ever see any of this gap stuff here. But uh, anyway, that's how to solve the problem with uh, no L brackets. Okay, so I got my other bed in. Somehow, this one came out flush just on the one corner, but I guess it's just because there's variances all over, so whatever. That one came out nice, it's the only one, but I still added the bracing on the side just to keep everything looking consistent. So anyway, we've got two beds, we got four tanks. All this is gonna be elevated on some block. This is just to kind of give me a feel for uh, what it's gonna be like. I still gotta go and grab some uh, some drums and put them in there for filters so I can get a feel for that too and come up with some final solution on w what it is where it's going to be placed so anyway uh, making progress it's 9 40 33 degrees out here I'm not gonna lie it's getting kind of hard to find the motivation to come out here it's pretty cold stuff okay so it's one thing to put this stuff on paper and like put it on plans and stuff on paper and you know spacing and all that stuff but to come out here and actually walk around this stuff, sometimes it's a whole nother feel. So I just need to figure this out and like commit and just do this. So anyway, I think I'm going to get some cinder blocks and get these things elevated to where they, where I think it's going to work and just get this going.
so I got to a point last night where I was just spinning my wheels. I'm happy with what I got going on over here, more or less, as far as as far as the blocks go on the tanks. But I'm I don't know that I, I don't know if I'm feeling this over here. Anyway, I think I'm gonna clean up this mess. It's just too cluttered. I'm gonna clean this up, and I think I'm gonna try repositioning these and see how it feels. Clocking in at 1040. I want to get everything situated and placed. And then it's time to start thinking about a greenhouse and what I'm going to do for the structure. One o two in the morning. Time to call it a night. Clocking in at nine thirty two tonight. Happy Festivus. Okay, so I'm at a point here where um, I have to really start thinking about what I'm doing. It's like thinking five, six steps ahead of where I'm actually at now because um, last night I I realized I was gonna put my raft bed, my other raft bed right here, and then I started thinking about placement of the greenhouse. Um, uh, posts for the Brit for the roof and um, I realized that this wasn't gonna work basically where that pillar is is where I'm gonna have a post that represents a post so after placing things and many times in many different places I think I finally got it all figured out here that bed is where it is this here represents another bed that I'm gonna work on making tonight plus down the road um, I'm not gonna focus on it now but um, while I was looking at this, you know, what do I do with this space? So I'm thinking, what am I going to do down here long term, another whatever. Um, if this gives me room, if I want to add another bed, like do a media bed here, um, flood and drain style or something, I think that's what I'll probably do. Then I got all this room over here to do a nursery, a fireplace. I want to do, um, the fodder thing and... Uh, mineral mineralization tank. I got room for lots of stuff still to do here. These here, I think, uh, are going to be two radio flow filters. I'm going to be putting here, and then on the side, I think that's going to be a small small particle filter um, spot. And then, so anyway, it's all coming together. Uh, one thing I hadn't thought about that I got to address was what am I going to do about a sump tank? Long story short, we got these fish tanks over there, right? And those are 55 gallon fish tanks I got for 35 bucks a pop. That will fit perfectly like underneath here. So, um, that was a great idea. We thought of that and then we realized, oh man, as far as cleaning that goes, what's that gonna do? So the idea is I'm gonna take these posts, scooch them in, then I'm gonna add a leg here and put the 
fish tank in here basically and use that as my sump tank and then I will by, by putting legs on the corners and moving the blocks in then I'll have access to the sump tank and I can also uh, block it off so nobody walks by and kicks it so I can add some protection and I'll be able to see it uh, versus having it in the middle of there so anyway all this stuff you know maybe it could have been avoided by putting it down on paper and whatnot but I don't think I would have come to the same um, I don't know that I would have come to the same conclusions on paper as I would, you know, just doing it here freestyle. Because uh, it's like, it's probably seeing this on paper it would be like, no way. There's no way I'm going to do something like that. I wouldn't have, you know, I'd have changed plans to like make something like this not work. But this is totally going to work. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a squeeze, but I can get in there. And then, you know, like here's my wall. It's all just kind of starting to line up. Okay, well, I worked until 1.30. It's Christmas Eve, 1.30 in the morning. So, uh, um, got a couple hours in. Pretty happy with what I got. It was a lot of, uh, well, I don't know, a lot of detail, a lot of tweaking on this, but um, I'm real happy with how it's turning out. Everything is just super flush and nice and clean. Can't wait to see this in some daylight. 